prime it with your fuel that gives your body nutrients and energy. There we go, and energy. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Ollie boy. Join the sunshine coming in. Good morning, Mary girl. How are you doing good today? Morning. Good morning. It's great to see your face. Good morning. Good morning to you. Do, do, do. And we're, we're going, going home. We're, we're going, going home. home. Tell, Tell the world, world we're, we're going, going home. home. We're so happy. We're so happy. Yes. Um, should today be the Fry Life the Musical? Fry Life the Musical. Do, do, do. <laughs> um, yeah, so my feeds seem to be going well. I I mean, it's still, it's going to take time to find out if my system actually can handle it. But for now, it seems to be handling it. Um, my lungs are still exactly the same because we weren't here. We we're still waiting to treat my lungs because we're waiting for information. So that's not a determining factor. Um, the pain, it's a little worse today than it was yesterday, but it's, I think we're on the up and up on that. Um, what was the last thing? Blood work. We still have to see what it is, but I'm, I, I'm almost sure it's going to continue to get better because yesterday it had already improved a little bit. So, we're going home. I'm so excited. And I'm also like on a, um, I ate oatmeal with maple syrup, so I'm like on a, <laughs> hi. Great. But, um, Mary's going to do her miss and get another chest PT session, sign the papers, and we'll head home. I got the bag packed. And that's what we're doing today, going home. All right, finished chest PT for the second time. My, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, Got everything packed up. Now just waiting for some paperwork. I'm so jittery. Did I tell them that? Uh, I, I don't know, but I she is. Ate, oh, oh, I ate a little bit of oatmeal, and I think my system's just not used to like, eating and having feed, so I'm like, <laughs> but I think what we're going to do with all my jitters, on the way home, we're going to stop at a store and look for a backpack, because at home, I'm going to have this pump, and it's not going to be attached, like, this has this crank on it, oh, interesting, I wonder how it's going to attach, at night it'll be on a pole, but during the day it'll be in a backpack, mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out. So we're gonna look for a backpack, and um, if if I feel good, I mean, we'll I see. guess reality is that I'll probably get to the car and feel like, oh, that's what happened last time. But if I still feel excited, maybe we'll stop at a store. Cool. And did you tell them about your weight? I did go up a little bit. So I'm like, progress. Excited. That's yesterday good. Yesterday I had lost weight. So it was like, all these calories and losing weight. Well, but, but it made sense because I hadn't been digesting. Yeah. But, so this is good. This is progress. We're going in the right direction. Yes. Which is encouraging when we're going home. Yes, yeah. that is good. And also, guess what? I ain't got no needle in my chest. In my chest. Or rather, in my armpit. I ain't got no needle in my chest. Yeah. We're home! And it feels good, doesn't yes, it? it feels so good. We I've made actually a, been yeah. like going Energetic. Going. She's like the energetic bunny. I kind of feel like she's going to hit this wall at some point. Yeah. But maybe this fuel is giving her energy. Energy go. Um, we made a couple stops on our way home. It was fun. We yeah. shopped a little bit. Um, so my... <laughs> My supplies just got here, so I've been off my feed for six and a half hours, but oh well, here we go. We're going to start this. The sh home care company had to bring a shipment of supplies. So, 
This is our first time setting up her NJ tube at home. Okay. Step one, open the formula. Oh, what? the fuel, I called it. <gasps> oh, okay, I see what they're saying. Yeah, let's not spill that on our carpet. Ugh. Okay, pour it into the bag. These bags that they sent are bigger than the ones that we were using in the hospital. I like the smaller bags. But. Whatever. Yep. Okay. Should I just do one? Let's see. You need. Let's see. We'll just do one. For we'll now. do. Yeah. Get it started. Yeah. So now we need so to prime the line. To, <clears throat> I'm gonna put my um extension. Or er, wait, should I try it without the extension, maybe? You could. I think it's so easier. <laughs> we have Bible study here tonight. <laughs> Do you actually want to bring the pole over here so I can hang this up? Or actually? Yeah, yeah I'll one. bring the pole. Okay, thanks. Okay, so she's going to put the extension on her line because for it to rest on her hair, she needs the extra length. And the rel Wait, absorb? I'm so confused. This is the rel. Oh, it's. Well, it's the little cartridge that has the know. enzymes in it. How do you get that off? Do you twist it? I don't know. That is weird. There you go. Oh. It just pops off. So, Yeah. this goes in here? Oh, I don't know. Oh wait, no. The Relazorb. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I see. Okay. okay. That was confusing. All right. Oops. Okay, so first I'm just gonna prime this. All right, this is just priming the tube. This is the cartridge that goes in the pump. You oh, this is the little, yeah. Yeah, and you, you can use the pump to prime or you can do this. I'm, be, I'm told this is faster, but it's not feeling very much faster. Mm, I think skeptical. if this was higher, it might go. I don't know how to So I just reason. twist this silver thing and then yeah. lift up. I tried that. Oh, really? Yeah, I screwed it for a while. That's weird. Maybe the other direction? Up in the air. Oh, you got it? Apparently. Alright. Prime that tube. Nutrients. Prime that tube. With y'all nutrients. Prime it with your fuel that gives your body nutrients and energy. There we go, and energy. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of like the Fry Life musical. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we started the vlog like that? Yes, I just do now. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay, it's getting there. Prime it. Prime, prime, then prime it. Prime, 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 and prime, prime it. it. Oh, that's confusing. What? Okay, I guess I'll hold this up here for now. Oh. It has a hooky uppy thing. Oh, okay. Well, I can go so get that. So here's how I put the thing in. Alright. So this is really boingy. Uh -huh. And then you just go like this. Like it's so easy. Yeah, <laughs> so graceful. Yeah. No, it's actually pretty simple. There you go. Done. All right, guys. This is our home setup for Mary's tube feedings. They sent the home care company sent an IV pole. This is the same kind of pump that she had in the hospital, and. Her fuel is hanging there on the IV pump and then during the day on our way home today we stopped at a couple of stores and looked at some backpacks and we ended up ordering Mary a backpack that'll come in a couple of days that she can put the pump in the bag kind of hanging in the backpack and she can use that to carry it around during the day sounds good to me because she's on 24 7 Fueling up. You up? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was working on the store stuff tonight. Yeah. And I was like, this is multitasking right here. I'm working and eating at the same time. Good work. So, I'm starting to smell the formula. Like, is it like in my skin? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just now smelling it. I've been on this formula for like three, three or four days. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been doing the um, 
change like filling it and changing yeah. washing it and all that. So we have to flush it every four hours at night. I do it every three hours during the day. Um so I just flushed it now. So I'm just gonna set my alarm for four hours. Yep. And I'll get up and, and flush it in the night. I filled then... the syringe up. Oh, oh, the syringe is all ready to go. So the reason that we have to flush the tube every uh, four hours or three hours during the day is because the NJ tube is a very skinny tube so that it's not obtrusive. And um, you have to, with an NJ, you have to go at a slow rate. Um, because you're bypassing the stomach and you're going straight into the small intestine. So, the tube is at risk of getting clogged. So, every few hours we flush water through it to keep the tube clear. Because we don't want the tube to get clogged because that would mean it would have to come out. And, and then a new one would have to go in. Which would not be pleasant. Sounds like a nightmare again. So we'll do our best to take care of this tube and um, one of the questions that I've seen a lot of comments about is oh like seeing like the throat pain and kind of the trauma of putting it in why don't you just get a J tube which a J tube is where it is placed in your surgically in your abdomen and it's and easy instead of going through the nose down the esophagus past the stomach and into the small intestine it is directly so they make an incision in your abdomen and go through and go straight into your small intestine your jejunum and uh, so the reason there are a few reasons that we aren't choosing that option first um, the first the first reason is I'm not able to do sedation right now um, I'm not. It's yeah, not. Like, her lungs aren't at a spot where it would be wise for her body and her overall health. So, that's the first reason. The second reason is we aren't sure that my body's going to tolerate these feeds. So, we need to try it. Um, so we're going to try this. This particular tube can stay in for six weeks. Um, if I need feeds longer than that, then we'd have to replace the... NJ. Um, we also really do hope that with treatment, if we're able to treat the mycobacterium, you know, if we find out that that is able to be treated, that my weight will be able to become more stable like it was a number of months ago. Yeah. So um, there's so many different options. And so if, if I do end up needing feeding long term then J tube would be what we would choose. Um but we would have to get her body at a place where we feel like her her lungs can undergo anesthesia and and the recovery process for an abdominal surgery like that obviously is going to be pain. Yeah. And from what I've from a little teeny bit of research a couple weeks of pain and for somebody who coughs um, yeah. abdominal pain is not ideal because it is so vital that we clear our airways yeah. so especially because we're in a spot where her body is fighting hard yeah. to breathe every day and we don't want to compromise any of that and so for the recovery for this NJ, although it's probably a little bit, um, I want to say like a normal person would probably like their throat would be better by now. We don't know why mine is still injured, but it is what it is. So it's a little bit longer than it maybe should be or typically is, but it's really nothing compared to a J2 placement, like surgically placed, you know. So, um, we're just going with it. Yep, and so we'll keep fueling her up, and today, today I think it was partially just the 
excitement of getting out of the hospital. She had a lot of energy and was doing stuff around the house when we got home today. But we're both a little worn out and ready to sleep in our own bed. You ready to sleep in our... Well, you already are. <laughs> and there's our magical tree. Alright guys, you know what? We're glad you came to the hospital with us and we're glad you came home with us. Yep. And, and as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night.